for about 10 or 12 years, I guess. Uh, Don and I have been away from the church. Even didn't have much interest. We had this opportunity after such a long period of not going uh, to go to Faith Bridge at the request of my stepson. And I felt so good about it that I could not wait till the next Sunday. And I heard about Faith Bridge 101. The pastor mentioned it, that it was gonna happen that Sunday. So we did, we went to Faith Bridge 101. The church has several ministry guides and I was lucky enough to meet on that day, Mary Ann Reed. I remember sitting down with Carolyn and she was so nervous and just so sweet. I just loved her right away because she has such a warmth about her. And she told me she was really nervous and for some reason she said, I don't know why Marianne, but I just haven't, we hadn't been to church in a long time. And We talked about what my relationship was with God or is and my church. I confessed to her that I hadn't been going to church. And I don't know if it was the guilt I was feeling or if she was just so overwhelming in her faith that I started to cry. I felt a feeling of comfort. The Spirit of the Lord, I swear, was so present and grabbed me at just about the same time she did and we hugged and she was just a wonderful person and I know I'm not, I'm not supposed to be ringing her bell, but it, it, I, I think she was a large influence and as a ministry guide. And she is just so excited and so on fire to get back involved into community. She's in two girl groups, a couples group and a women's group, and she serves. She's all over the place now, and everyone knows her and everybody loves her. I definitely got the connection and still have it today, and I, uh, I'm active now. I serve two or three different places. That is what I just am so passionate about, about people, especially people who are nervous. Maybe they haven't walked in the doors of a church for years. Maybe they never have. And that is my passion, just to know that this is God's house and everybody is welcome here. No matter what you've done or what you haven't done, everybody's welcome. And when I get to see someone like Carolyn, who had that guilt just sort of erased and that burden taken off her shoulders. I mean, that is exactly what I'm here for. I am just so grateful to have renewed my relationship with Christ. Whatever it's led me to, and pardon my tears, but I have before thought, if I could go back to when I was 20, and I, I had all of these wonderful experiences that I'm having just in the last year or two. I would, I long for that, I regret that, but I think that maybe lo, the Lord had a plan for me and maybe it just wasn't supposed to happen until now, but I'm so thankful for having this church home and these people and, and for Don and I, it's made such a difference in our marriage and I just feel so fulfilled and I'm so grateful.